Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to do a story on morbid capitalism. Yep, may sound interesting, right? Nothing that you've heard about before? Oh yes you have. The Kobe Bryant story is exactly the reason I've decided to do this video. I had no idea that so many people on YouTube that cook and sew and make music were such tremendous Kobe Bryant fans. Hmm, I'm sure some of them were, but uh, unfortunately this phenomenon keeps happening over and over and over. I believe more people were interested in cashing in on the Kobe Bryant mayhem and, you know, fallout that ensues. So that really ticked me off and I thought it would be an excellent subject for a video today. So, let's discuss this morbid capitalism that's sweeping our nation currently. Gazebo. If you're one of my old channel original followers, you'll understand the uh, inside joke of that one. But Yes, folks, today I thought I'd talk about the morbid capitalism that's surrounding Kobe Bryant's death. Everyone from Nike to the, N uh, the NBA and uh, NAACP all trying to capitalize and cash in on the death of one Mr. Kobe Bryant. It's a shame and pathetic the way the vultures sweep in the minute the body's down and not even cold. I love the way Nike uh, pumped themselves up by saying that they weren't going to release the sneaker, that no one had any idea was going to be released to begin with, and out of respect, they will release it, but at a later date. Ah, uh, blatant capitalism at its finest. You know, get a plug in now at the height of the tragedy that there will be a special custom sneaker coming out, so when it does, the traffic is insane. Right? Everybody seems to be following in this particular footsteps. I see here on YouTube, uh, people who do baking as their channel have had nothing but Kobe Bryant stories for the last week, and I doubt they know much about him. A lot of the stuff I'm seeing is just recycled news stories that people put their own spin on. They don't even have the decency to go out there and do something original. And it's sad. It's sad because here in my country, in the United States, this has become a thing. It's become a natural event to capitalize on the death of someone famous or capitalize on someone else's tragedy because they've gotten a lot of viral coverage. So you could sell some t-shirts or some sneakers or perhaps your old season passes. You know, there's just so much going on that, you know, we don't stop to look and think that it's so disrespectful. The person has just recently left us and, you know, we're using that tragedy to, you know, devise a scheme in order to make more money off of them. Or, you know, we look to that tragedy, a monsoon or a hurricane or a volcano exploding and, you know, we, we want to see how much money we can make on that. We sell, you know, volcano air, totally BS stuff, but, you know, it's from uh, Hialeah. It's, it's just, it's getting to be beyond acceptable limits. Um, I'm embarrassed at the amount of people here on YouTube that have flocked to the Kobe Bryant money machine. Just, if your channel isn't doing well on its own, this is not going to help you people. But I can't expect anyone here to behave any different than they are in the entire world. Everyone that you could think of, from team owners to those that have gotten autographs from the man, are capitalizing on his death. Go on eBay and see what a Kobe Bryant autograph anything is going for. And the sad thing is, that man gave that person that autograph out of respect and love for being a fan. Didn't know that he was going to hold on to it and then, you know, try to charge a thousand dollars for a signed jersey. Pretty sure he probably would not have done it. But I think we all have to come to terms with what is and is not acceptable. I think it's up to each of us to decide what is morally correct for themselves. I don't think it's really beneficial 
to capitalize on the tragedy of others. I don't think we should be making money at the expense of those who are suffering. I see that a lot during hurricanes. Here in Florida, we have a very long hurricane season. And, uh, you know, the minute something happens, water is $10 a bottle and gas is $5 a gallon. Eh, funny how you're not supposed to price gouge, but yet it goes on all the time. So, my friends, we must each decide this for ourselves. That's probably the saddest part of this. What is and is not acceptable when it comes to someone's tragic loss? Is it all right to sell the autographed sneaker that they gave you in confidence that you'd keep it for yourself just to make a profit because now they're gone? Do you exploit their image and try to make a penny on anything you possibly can? Old ticket stub, sneaker shoelace, chewed gum, is it acceptable today to have zero moral conscience and the minute the plane hits the ground we get on TV and talk about how we're going to withhold the new one-of-a-kind sneaker that's endorsed by him for a later date? Are you comfortable with that? Does it not bother you that giant corporations that are already super wealthy are going to super capitalize on the tragedy of a man and his daughter or at the expense of an entire community? Like in, the, uh, like in the example of Puerto Rico, you know, still trying to recover from a hurricane, but yet there's been so many charities and GoFundMe and relief pages that have raised millions of dollars, and yet, for some reason, the money's never met its mark. How acceptable is this? Because it's becoming a very commonplace thing. You tell me in those comments below. And keep an eye out the next time there's some kind of tragedy. Go look and see how many people have changed their channel to uh, all fanboy page or all of a sudden they uh, have daily content on the tragedy but it has nothing to do relevantly with what they do here on YouTube. Or even the people you buy your sneakers from. You're going to continue to buy sneakers from people that exploit the dead? Don't even wait for their body to be put in the ground before they talk about how they going to have a super one of a kind and they'll release that later on? I don't know. I'm not very comfortable with all that anymore. And this one, this one really hit home. I'm talking about the same day there were people on eBay an hour after his crash that were selling his jersey with his personal autograph. Sick people. It's just money. I mean, we all need it, I get it, but at this price, exploiting these people here, they have no say, they have no recourse, they can't tell you whether they agree or not with what you're doing, because they probably would. But, why don't you guys let me know how you feel in those comments down below. Exploitation of the dead, doesn't matter, they're gone, they have nothing to say about it anyway, or absolutely morally bankrupt like we're seeing currently. Hmm. I vote bankrupt, you let me know. As always, y'all know how we do it here, comment like subscribe share your thoughts it's the most important part of this process love ya see y'all in the next one